Hello and welcome to another The Amateur Machine Shop video. In this episode I ponder the question, to rebuild a used bandsaw, is it worth it? Owning a bandsaw beats using a hacksaw any day for sawing thicker parts. With all the imports available, a bandsaw isn't that costly. For example, the King Canada is currently only $519, and down in the US the Harbour Freight has them for $279, equates to about $357 Canadian. There are also many other retailers, and if you look closely, the saws all kind of look alike. Well, this is the saw I bought used, a brand I've never heard of before. I paid $180 Canadian. The motor was in poor shape, but I thought it wouldn't cost a lot for a new motor. Since many of these saws are basically the same, I found parts for a King Canada and couldn't believe the cost of a new motor, $292.75. While I thought about the motor issue, I started with the disassembly of the bandsaw. The saw was so dirty and hadn't been cleaned for a long time. The gearbox was in good shape along with most of the bearings. However, the saw blade guides were loose and the bushings they turn, turned on worn out. A few of the bolts had the threads nearly stripped and the hex nuts had excessive wear. Here you can see the buildup of sludge on the blade drive wheel and the idler wheel was just as bad, but some degreaser and scraping cleaned them right up. The main casting had some rust and required a lot of brushing and sanding to clean up. Since I had never tried it, I used a swirl pattern as a finish on the non-painted areas. It didn't turn out too badly, but with cast iron, one needs to be careful not to dig in too deep with any abrasive. Next step was to start painting. I chose beige due to the clean look of the Jet brand tools. For all the other parts, I chose black. Once I had the majority of the parts painted, it was time to start assembling the bandsaw. Most of the blade guide wheel bushings were worn badly. I had made the decision to try nylon as a replacement. Over the years I have read that nylon material is a great substitute for brass bushings. Since I own a small mini lathe, making them wasn't a difficulty. I also cleaned up the threads and laid the spindle shafts of each guide to a nominal dimension. I happened to have an old motor in storage and tried it on the saw. It lasted a little while and ended up swapping it with another used motor. Unfortunately it was a one-third horsepower and the saw is better suited for a half horsepower motor. A small angle iron frame was fabricated so that the bandsaw would be on wheels. In a small space you want your tools to be mobile. I find myself using the horizontal bandsaw in a vertical position a lot. It is very handy to be able to cut steel, brass, aluminum, plastic and even wood. Not having to pay for cut to length pieces is an added bonus. The one third horsepower needs a little help at times to start turning the blade. I did find a used one horsepower motor and will eventually swap the motor, but that might be a little overkill. So, was it worth it? I paid $180 for the saw, $40 for the motor, and $50 for paint, grease, and other supplies. That totals $270, plus many hours disassembling, cleaning, making parts, and assembling. 
what it all comes down to, what is your time worth? If you have the time and funds are limited, it's a no-brainer. If you have no time but the funds, you are better suited to buying new. If you want to learn something, sometimes the hard way, buy used. If I had to do it again, I would have probably bought a new saw. In my case, buying used turned out to be about half the cost of a new one. But I still need to make a better belt cover and replace the motor and add a blade guard. In the next few weeks, I'm continuing with the machining of the mini flame engine parts along with the 3D printed project that I'm really excited to try out. So click the subscribe and notification button to get a heads up once the videos are released. Thanks for watching and I really appreciate all the new subscribers. Stay safe.